welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I am on the My WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. I have a super exciting video today. It is the second one in this little mini series for all things pumpkin from Trader Joe's in 2020. I uploaded my first haul about a week ago. I'm gonna go ahead and link that video down below if you haven't seen it. I show you the first batch of pumpkin items at Trader Joe's. We taste test a few, super fun video, so definitely check that out. Today, we are doing the same thing. I have a huge pumpkin fall haul for you. We are going to taste test quite a few items. There are some items that I didn't purchase just because like I mentioned in my last video, they're items that maybe I wouldn't use, I don't like, I don't see myself using those things and I didn't want them to go to waste, but I did snap pictures so I can show you everything pumpkin at Trader Joe's. So we'll go over all of those items at the end. So if you're new, make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I am all about these taste tests lately. I have another really fun one coming your guys' way here in the next few weeks. And make sure your bell is turned on so you don't miss a single video. I do upload most days of the week, so you don't wanna miss out. And before we jump into the video, give this one a thumbs up if you love Trader Joe's and pumpkin. And let's take a look at today's fall shirt. So today's pumpkin fall shirt, Farm Fresh Pumpkins. I picked this up off of Cotton Bay's website. If it's still available, I'll link it down below for you guys. Make sure you are checking out the description box down below where you're going to find my weight loss and nutrition coaching website. Definitely check it out if you struggle with your calories, your macros, what to eat, what not to eat, how to reach your health goals. I can definitely help you. There's a little bit of something for everyone on my website, so check that out down below. You're also going to find the website for all my recipes, links and discount codes to my favorite things, and last but not least, the link to head over and join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you join that community over there. So, who's here for the pumpkin? Who's ready to taste test all things fall and pumpkin from Trader Joe's? Let's jump in. So Trader Joe's hasn't gotten in a lot of their Halloween things yet. There are a few particular items that I was looking for and I asked the gal up front if they had them yet and they said that they're slowly getting their Halloween things in. So there was only one product that I could find this trip and that is the Halloween JoJo's. How cute are these? They are little pumpkin faces and these are like Oreos but better. Generally, the JoJo's are so good from Trader Joe's. So these are the pumpkin ones. It's a chocolate pumpkin faced cookie with our signature vanilla bean cream. So of course we are going to try one of these. So this is what the cookie looks like. How cute is that? I am of course going to put points and prices on the screen for all of the items. So let's give these Halloween JoJo's a try. Cheers. Really good. Very, very chocolatey, which I like. I get the sweetness of the vanilla bean in the filling. Delicious. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be the only one eating these because my husband doesn't do chocolate, but good news, I do have a celebration of life for my mother-in-law who passed away recently this weekend, so I'll put these out so that they're not in my pantry and tempting me for the next however many weeks. Next up are the pumpkin cranberry crisps. I bought these last year. I'm obsessed with these. These are so delicious. There's no need to taste test these because I love them. They are pumpkin-y. They have the sweet cranberries in them. They're really, really delicious. I love to dip these in the pumpkin cream cheese that I picked up in the last haul. I'll insert a picture right there. I'm obsessed with the pumpkin cream cheese and this is so good in there. You could also dip this in the pumpkin butter. There's a lot of options with these. They are really delicious and in fact, they're really good all on their own. Highly recommend if you love pumpkin and cranberry and you kind of want that sweet, savory feel of fall. We have another cookie. In fact, we have quite a few sweet things in this haul, which I'm not mad about at all. But these are the Trader Joe's pumpkin spiced cookies. So these are cute little shortbread cookies 
with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. Yum. So reminiscent of animal cookies. Now, I think I got these last year. I'm not 100% positive on that. And you know, it's a cookie, so I'm always up for taste testing it. So let's give one of these a try. So here's what the cookies look like. There's orange with white sprinkles, and then there's white with orange sprinkles, fully coated, just like an animal cracker. Supposedly, it is a shortbread with pumpkin spice. Yum. Let's try it. Cheers. Delicious. Oh my gosh. This is probably my favorite thing that I've tried so far in these pumpkin hauls that I've done. These are so good. The cookie is buttery, but that coating is so pumpkin-y. Oh, it's so good. They're sweet, but not overly sweet. They're definitely full of fall and pumpkin flavor. Wow. Delicious. And while we're talking cookies, let's just go ahead and have another cookie. This is the Trader Joe's pumpkin flavored JoJo's. So these are the fall version of the JoJo's and then we also had the Halloween version of the JoJo's. So let's give these a try. These are pumpkin flavored sandwich cream cookies with other natural flavors, AKA artificial flavors. But you know what? We're gonna try these because again, pumpkin. So here is what these look like. They have kind of an orangey, colored filling and these troy will eat because they're not chocolate so i'm not going to be stuck eating all these myself but let's try this because it sounds amazing cheers so good so pumpkiny once again now these are definitely sweet but they are full of pumpkin flavor the spiciness i get the cloves the nutmeg really really good i like these better than the halloween ones i just think they have tons of flavor now they are sweeter so if you're not a fan of super sweet they may be a little too sweet for you nothing too sweet for me these are amazing these and these yummy next is a pasta sauce i have heard rave reviews about this pasta sauce I'm not going to taste test it because I'm gonna show you a little bit later when we move into the refrigerated items what I'm going to pair this with for a dinner and then I'll report back to you. But this is the Autumnal Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. Doesn't that sound so good? So stay tuned a little bit later in this video when I show you the refrigerated items, I will tell you exactly what my plan is with this pasta sauce, but it sounds amazing. It is one half of a cup for 100 calories, of course, points, prices on the screen. Next are the famous Trader Joe's pumpkin walks into a bar. Now, Trader Joe's has all these different walks into a bar, strawberry, blueberry, you name it, but this is their seasonal pumpkin one. I've never had these, and I know that Troy will like these, so this will be a great thing to throw in his lunch. But basically what this is, is it is a cereal bar with a pumpkin filling, so similar to a Nutrigrain. So we are going to taste test this because, again, I've never had these. I do like Nutrigrain bars, and I've actually heard that these Trader Joe's ones are better than the Nutrigrain, so let's try them. So this is the packaging, super cute. So this is the size of the bar, very similar in size of a Nutrigrain. In fact, it looks just like a Nutrigrain when I take it out of the package. You can see the pumpkin filling. So I'm excited for this, cheers. Really good, very good, sweet, Definitely taste the pumpkin. I like the grittiness of the cereal bar. Really delicious. If you are a fan of pumpkin, this is great. This would be a great thing to have on your way out the door. You could pair this with some eggs. It'd be great to give your kids for breakfast. It's actually really, really delicious. I need to cleanse my palate between all this pumpkin goodness. Next up are these pumpkin seeds. I saw these and I was so excited. How good would these be on a salad? And I was even more excited when I flipped them over and read the back and what they are made with is no oil. It's actually made with butter. So that's great. There's no questionable oils or ingredients, great ingredients actually in these. So these are the pumpkin flavored pumpkin seeds. Sounds delicious to me. I definitely want to try these. And again, I'm thinking salad. Also, these would be amazing on oatmeal or grits or quinoa bowls. Yum. So here is what they look like. They look pretty much like pumpkin seeds. They just have kind of a caramelized sweet type of coating on them. So I'm excited. Let's try them. Ooh, they smell really good. So let's give them a try. Cheers. 
delicious, sweet, more sweet than I anticipated. I definitely taste pumpkin. So I taste that pumpkin seed, not pumpkin, but the pumpkin seed. And then it has that sweet kind of crystallized coating. They're really good. Again, I think on any of those items, a quinoa bowl, oatmeal, or on a salad, it would be absolutely delicious. They are a little point in calorie heavy, so I would maybe just do a tablespoon or two, but really, really good. We have a couple of breads. So first is this organic pumpkin bread. I was pretty excited to see this. So this says organic pumpkin bread with cinnamon bits, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and sesame seeds. You had me at cinnamon bits. So I'm excited for this. This would be amazing toasted up with that pumpkin butter that I shared last week. Picture will be right here. Or the apple jelly that I shared in my grocery haul a couple of weeks ago. So let's try this bread. I am gonna just give it a little bit of a taste test. I'll probably just try the heel just so I'm not wasting any, but I'm excited to try this and I hope that cinnamon bit comes through. So here's what the bread looks like. It looks really good and again this is simply the heel of the loaf it smells really good it smells cinnamony so here's for hoping cinnamon is prominent cheers that is really really delicious hallelujah i taste the cinnamon i also have that earthy heartiness of the bread it's delicious it has four grams of protein per slice so nothing to sneeze at Again, this would make amazing toast. This would make a great breakfast sandwich. I'm pretty darn excited about this. I'm gonna pop it in my freezer so that it lasts. But yeah, definitely pick this up if you like that hearty bread with the cinnamon. If you're a fan of cinnamon raisin bread, you're gonna be a fan of this one. So the other bread I picked up smells like a donut shop. This is the maple bread. Now you guys, this is a streusel bread. This is nobody's healthy breakfast. This is like a decadent, dessert bread. I mean, it seriously smells like a maple bar, but I'm going to try this because again, we can have anything on WW. We just work it into our points or if you count calories, you work it into your calories. So I want to try this because I love all things maple. And again, this would be great to add to some zero point eggs and zero point fruit for a breakfast. So, so excited. So here is what the bread looks like. It's just frosting -y and streusel -y. Oh, you guys, I'm excited. So let's give it a shot. Cheers. Absolutely incredible. This is so good. Definitely maple bar vibes all the way. This is incredible. So, so good. Highly recommend you guys. Both of these breads are so good. I love the pumpkin biscotti. I bought these several times last year. These are so good, dipped in a nice warm cup of coffee or tea. I actually like biscotti all by itself, but I know that it's kind of an acquired taste. Some people don't like it, they think it's hard. I really like it. I remember these being pretty soft. I'm excited that these are back. Actually, this was the last one on the shelf, so I grabbed it, not going to taste test it because I've had it before, and honestly, I'm getting a little full. I've tested a lot of things and I still have a few more to go. So since I've had this before, I'm not going to taste test it. It says that it is made with pumpkin puree and spices. It's delicious. If you love pumpkin, if you love biscotti, get it. Next up are the organic frosted toaster pastries. So these are Trader Joe's take on a Pop-Tart and these are pumpkin flavor. Now I am not going to try these either but basically if you like pop tarts you're probably going to like these so it says trader joe's frosted toaster pastries are made with organic ingredients like whole wheat flour cane sugar and organic pumpkin puree they're made without artificial flavors preservatives and synthetic colors so i love that these are 200 calories per toaster pastry for one not the two that come in the pack for one it's 200 calories and then of course the points that were here on the screen so i'm not going to try these i'm going to leave these for troy i think that he will like these if you're a pop tart or a toaster strudel fan and you want something pumpkin-y grab these so moving into the cold stuff let's talk about what i'm pairing with this sauce these pumpkin ravioli honey roasted pumpkin ravioli doesn't that sound so good thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling so i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna pair it with this and it's going to be an amazing dinner so i'll put the points of course here on the screen for this these just sound really good they're pretty they're orange and yellow so 
I think it's going to be a great dinner. You can pair it with a vegetable if you want a little bit added protein, which I probably will. These have only two grams of protein per serving and only four grams in the whole pack. The pack makes two and a half servings. I don't know. That's not very many ravioli per serving, but I'm excited to try these. I probably will maybe add some ground turkey or ground beef to the sauce to bulk it up, but excited. I love ravioli. I need something to wash down all this pumpkin goodness. This I was excited to see. This is the Colombe Coffee Draft Latte in Pumpkin Spice. Yum. Okay, so it's 100 calories for the can. It says foamy nitrous infused milk cold brew. So I'm here for it. Let's try it. Cheers. Meh. I don't like it. To me, it has zero pumpkin flavor. It's not sweet. All I taste is coffee. I love coffee, so I like that about it. But coffee is zero points, about five calories. This is 100 calories. I would not buy this again. I won't be finishing this. It's just, it's coffee to me. It's not something that would be a treat or, or that I would want to spend 100 calories on or the points on. So, bummer. I was hoping that this would be better. Now, this next item, even the checker was excited about pumpkin empanadas. Little handheld, basically, pumpkin pies. Yum. This says delicately spiced pumpkin filling in a traditional flaky pastry. We had a big conversation on are these savory or are these sweet? So we didn't know if they were savory or sweet. I'm guessing sweet. He thought maybe savory. So I am actually going to warm one of these up in the microwave. I know it'd probably be even better in the air fryer. Oh my gosh. Yum. But I'm going to pop it in the microwave just so we can settle the sweet versus savory. So here it is all warmed up. Now I will tell you, to me, it smells sweet. It smells like pumpkin pie. I'm pretty excited. Cheers. Amazing. It is literally like a mini handheld pumpkin pie and the points are not bad. This is pretty good size. It is soft because I toss it in the microwave. Highly recommend the air fryer. Oh my gosh, this is so delicious, you guys. This is absolutely incredible. It is literally a mini handheld pumpkin pie, and it's sweet. Last but not least is the Perfect Bar. Now, I never buy these, mainly because they are over 300 calories. They are a ton of smart points, a ton of calories. I've had the little Perfect Bites, which you guys have seen me haul before, but I've honestly never had a Perfect Bar. So I'm pretty excited to try this. And this is the Seasonal Batch Pumpkin Spice. It says 14 grams of protein and 20 superfoods. It is the original refrigerated bar. So this is my first Perfect Bar ever. So I'm going to be basing my opinion on the Pumpkin Spice Bar. I'm hoping for pumpkin. I'm really hoping for pumpkin because it's a lot of calories and points, but taking one for the team and we're gonna try it. So this is what it looks like. It actually looks really, really good, but when I smell it, I don't smell pumpkin. I smell peanut butter. Like I feel like this is a peanut butter base. I'm gonna look. Yep, it's a peanut butter base. That's primarily what I smell. So again, I'm hoping the pumpkin comes through, but let's try my first ever perfect bar. Cheers. No, it's a no for me, sis. I don't like it at all. It's very dry. It, it reminds me of the healthy eating all the time and go bars as far as the taste goes, but the healthy eating bars are amazing. They're only 200 calories. The macros are on point. No, I don't like this. The taste is very peanut buttery like the healthy eating bars. It's very dry. It's very sandy. When I bite into it, I taste zero pumpkin. I taste peanut butter. That's it. So, ah, dang, that's a no for me, which I guess is a good thing because I wouldn't want to spend the points or calories on it anyways. But it's a bummer that we're ending this video with a dud. So some of the items that I did not buy, but that are available for pumpkin in fall season. First is this pumpkin bisque from Trader Joe's. It says a delicate puree finished with brown butter and sage. It sounds really good. It just wasn't on my radar for this trip. Also, there is the Harvest Chili. This also sounded good. Both of these soups are pretty low calorie and I'm imagining low smart point. This is black beans, butternut squash, cauliflower, and sweet potatoes simmered with pumpkin puree and chili spices. Sounds pretty good. 
I also saw some maple almonds. You know, I picked up the pumpkin spiced pumpkin seeds, but they also had maple almonds, which sounded good too. They also had regular pumpkin seeds for $3.99 per bag, dry roasted and lightly salted. So if you want just a pumpkin seed in its natural form, that's a great option. They also had a few drink items. So one was this salted caramel hot cocoa. It sounds really good. I did not check the points of any of these items, but I'm imagining this is pretty high. But for a treat, $3.99 is not bad at all. They also had their pumpkin spice coffee pods. So if you have a Keurig or the Keurig-like machine, $4.99 for the box of pumpkin spice coffee pods. It looks like there's 12 per box. They also had just their regular pumpkin spice coffee that you can make in your drip coffee maker, and that was $7.99 for the canister. Now, this sounds really good. I just have tons of coffee between Coffee Over Cardio and Bones Coffee. I have lots of coffee, so I didn't want to pick up any more. They also had a spicy pumpkin curry simmer sauce. Now, this sounds good. I may grab this at a later time, but I wanted to check with my husband because sadly, I don't know if he likes curry. So I want to ask him before I buy this. But yeah, they had this and this looked really good. They also had an autumn harvest soup. And this is in a jar in the shelf stable area. And this is a creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. So that sounds really good too. I don't think the points or calories were too bad, but again, I didn't really feel like buying any soups this trip. They also had the cinnamon bun spread. I actually picked this up last year. It's delicious. It tastes like the filling of a cinnamon roll, but I already have the maple butter and the pumpkin butter. So I just wanted to use up what I have. I may grab a jar of this though, before the season is over and before it's gone. They also had the ginger brew sparkling beverage. So this is like a ginger beer, but this is pumpkin pie flavored. Now I don't drink regular pop or anything like that. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. Now this would be a great mixer for an adult beverage. It's just something that I may pick up down the road to try. It sounds really good, looks really good. But again, I'm just not much of a regular pop drinker. I try not to drink a lot of my calories. They also had this cute little harvest collection of chocolates for only $3.99. Now I bought these last year and what I did with these is I put one on everybody's plate at Thanksgiving. They're so cute and the chocolate is really good and you can't beat $3.99. So I may pick that up again this year before Thanksgiving. They also had pumpkin cheesecake. Now I almost bought this because my husband's favorite dessert is cheesecake, but we have cake for the celebration of life. And let me tell you right now, if we have leftover cake and pumpkin cheesecake, he's going to eat the pumpkin cheesecake and I'm going to eat the cake. So I will probably buy this later, maybe for Thanksgiving, but I decided not to pick it up this trip because I don't need to be eating all the cake leftovers by myself. And the pumpkin rolls, the pumpkin spiced cinnamon rolls with pumpkin spice icing. This is so good. I have had these before. They are incredibly high in calories and points, so I opted not to buy them. Doesn't mean I won't, but they are only $3.99 for the can, and they are absolutely delicious. And the one item I really wanted to pick up that I had on my list that was completely gone already were these pumpkin spice batons. So these are kind of like the wafer cookies. I don't even know what they're called, perilis. I'll put a picture of them here for you guys, but pumpkin spice for $1.99. They must be good because they were completely gone. I also saw the Haunted House Chocolate Cookie Gingerbread Kit for $7.99. This would be great to do with your kids, especially during quarantine. So I thought that was really, really cute. And last but not least are the apple cider cookies. I did buy these last year. I was not the biggest fan of these. I've heard mixed reviews, so I would recommend trying them if you're an apple cider fan, but I decided not to pick them up this year just because I wasn't honestly that impressed with them last year, unfortunately. So that is everything for my second pumpkin haul from Trader Joe's. I don't know how many Halloween items are going to come in, but if there is enough before Christmas, which hello, we'll do several hauls with Christmas, then I will definitely do another haul, another taste test. We had some good things, we had some bad things, but overall it was so fun to taste test everything. Glad I didn't have any lunch because I'm officially full. I'm gonna track everything that I ate, even the bites and the little taste to make sure that I'm on point. But it was so fun to be able to try everything. I can't wait to have these little pumpkin treats along the way. So again, if you are new, subscribe and turn the bell on so you don't miss a single video. I am planning a couple more holiday type of Trader Joe's hauls and taste tests, so definitely 
make sure you're subscribed. Thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this and comment down below. Let me know, have you tried any of these pumpkin things and what was your thought? Also make sure you're checking out the description box for my nutrition coaching website. I'd love to help you reach all of your goals. So check that out. There's a little bit of something for everyone. Also links and discount codes to all my favorite things. And of course the Facebook group is in the description box as well. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for another pumpkin haul. I will link my shirt down below for you guys as well. And of course I'll see you in the next video. Happy fall y'all.